Hello, in this video, I am talking about how to make positive changes, how to be the change and how to not be so overwhelmed by doing new things like, oh my God, is it gonna take too much energy or who am I, I'm just one person. Before we get started, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon and hit the like button. It helps seriously more than you could ever know. And I promise I'm going to give you some amazing nuggets that have completely changed my life and my client's life right now, especially when we feel super overwhelmed. So I'm going to start with one of the most common questions that my clients have been bringing up this week, like this feeling of overwhelm. So what's really common in an energy of a woman who feels powerless or who feels like she's not good enough or who feels like, um, I'm going to do it wrong. I'm going to say the wrong thing and I have to be perfect. And like, who, who am I? Like who, I can't even get my own shit together. Who am I? So one of the, we've been talking about what have we been learning through this? Like, what have we learned in the past week? What have we learned since specifically George Floyd's murder? What have we learned? How are we being part of the solution? How can we help? What, you know, how are we bringing about positive change instead of just talking about it? and doing nothing or feeling guilty about it and doing nothing or getting angry about it and doing nothing. So one of the most common uh, emotional roadblocks, like one of the most common arguments from the ego has for my clients has been, I, I, there's so much evil. There's so many bad things. How, what am I going to do? How am I going to, I'm one person and I'm not perfect. How am I going to make a change? And that follows right along with, it's going to take too much energy and I can't do it too much energy to make this change. The problem is too big. I can't do it. So I'm going to talk about those because if we sit in those energies of there's too much evil, there's too many problems. I'm just one person. I can't. Then the next step is that for that freeze. So I mentioned, you know, a woman who comes in, who's disempowered. She then goes, it's like, it's like all the systems are fried. Like the, I'm too fried. Oh my God. I'm ashamed. I'm guilty. I'm ignorant. I can't. Oh. And so the system's all, it's like shut down. Like I visualize it's like, oh, like a robot and it's just like shuts down and nothing can happen. And so then there's, we're not part of the solution. We're not making changes. We're just going, oh my God, oh my God, I can't handle this. And then shutting down. And the same with the second question, this is going to take too much energy holy fuck, I don't even know where to start. And so again, that comes in and it like, it does a freeze, like a freeze. And what I know is nothing in my life or any of my mentors lives or any of my clients lives, we've never made a change by going, here's a problem. And I'm angry about the problem or I'm guilty about the problem because those are great catalysts for change. We only change when enough is enough. We don't make changes cause shit's okay. I've said this a million times that like, this is so why I have so much conviction because the philosophy is, uh, the system is broken. And while there are humans suffering right now, and while the earth is sick, the system is broken and we can make changes. We get to make changes. It is our birthright to come and make changes. And while there are humans that are suffering and the earth is dying, there's work to be done while we're breathing. There is work to be done. However, I know that there have been no changes by sitting back and going, oh, yeah. So even to the most simplest level of your body, if we just bring it down to the basic need, because you need to have a strong ass vehicle to make a change. If your body is not strong, there's no way that you can have a strong mind. You can't. If you're chronically sick or chronically hurt, you have no energy and you can't do anything without energy. You can't do anything. So the, the most basic level, the first place we have to make these changes are physically. When I have women coming to me with autoimmune disease and cancer and with severe pain and disease, the first thing we have to do on a most basic level is teach them how to heal their own temple. So if you go, Oh, I'm a hundred pounds overweight and I want to lose a hundred pounds. And I say, what are you going to do? And you go, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to sit here and say, oh, I need to lose a hundred pounds. And then I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. And I'll say, well, then that, there's going to be no change happening. So yes, we do have to do, we can't do the same thing and expect something new to come in. 
and it does take energy to change. So on a most basic level, if your physical needs are not met, that is where you have to start, girl, because we are vehicles and we are vessels. And if you have a broken ass vessel, you can't, you ain't gonna give nobody a ride if your car has no freaking tires on it, no wheels, no engine. At a most basic level, the way that we make a change is physically. This is our temple. We have to physically have energy. If you have a horrible migraine, you cannot get up and help somebody else. You're sitting there trying not to die. If you have an autoimmune and chronic fatigue, my women are coming in and they're bedridden. Like the first thing we have to do, so the first way that we make a change is by physically getting our body healthy and strong and healing. And we do have to do new, new things. There's, this, there's always moments where it's like, this is hard, I don't wanna do it. And then you have to make the decision because no one's gonna follow you around and make sure that you're making these positive decisions to make changes. And on a basic level, like, Yes, there's so much fucking evil in the world and the system is broken, I get it. But on a basic level, I know that I'm helping and creating a change because my I have energy, my body is healthy, my temple is on point, therefore I have extra energy, therefore I'm making more money, therefore I am teaching more women how to heal. And an empowered woman who is gotten herself out of an abusive relationship, who does not self-harm with food anymore, who loves herself, who has energy and confidence, she's then going and planting these positive seeds and, take, and teaching other people how to make changes. So that's what we can do. We actually can measure our change. Like you can measure if you, if you say you wanna lose 100 pounds and you don't do anything about it and you actually gain five the next month, we can measure. But if you show up and even when your brain's like, this is this fucking sucks, I don't wanna do it, and you do it anyway because self-accountability, because you're a grown up, you're not five, dude, you're gonna see positive changes and it's gonna happen. So my inspiration for doing this video is I get that shit seems overwhelming. I'm not telling you that every day is perfect for me and I'm like, this is so easy and fun. It is gnarly. It's hard. And the heart is what makes it great. And yes, it is also possible to change. We wanna be part of the solution. And empowered, we, the way that we change the world is by empowering women. We can't sit back and act like we're, I'm just a woman, I'm so weak. Or I was, I was abused, or I was broken, and so therefore I can't right now. I'm, I'm asking you and inspiring you to change the story that's happening in your mind. And instead of, I can't change because of something that's happened in the past, I want you to rephrase that with, I can change because it's my fucking birthright. My heart is beating. I can change. If one person can do it, I did it. So this is how I inspired this change. I was like, okay, I'm my first client. I'm going to do it with myself. And I did it. And I, then I believed it. It's like, if you say, uh, hey, can you ride a bike? And you think it's impossible and you can't ride one and you feel like death, then you can't. How are you going to ever inspire anybody to do it? But for me, I'm like, dude, we totally can. I've done this. It's possible, it does take more energy. We do have to focus and really, really, really decide that we are not settling for anything less because I love myself too much to settle for a life of shame, guilt, and doing the same thing over and over and then feeling worse. Like, yeah, I'm not saying that you get to do that. I'm, I don't have a magic pill for you. I'm saying though that you get to make these choices because you love yourself too much to freaking settle. So. I, I've talked about this before, but I have um, two, two group coaching programs. So one's the purpose program and that's the first tier and the second tier is the love program. And it's so amazing because I get women into my purpose program who like are just in this state of selfishness and it's not because they're selfish people, but they can't even help themselves or take care of themselves. So there's no way that if you don't have enough food for yourself and you don't have enough money or energy for yourself that you can then go, like around offering out of the goodness of your heart because that's who you are and you have an abundance and because you have a shit ton of energy and you know what you put out comes back. Like you, if you're in survival mode, we do, we cannot elevate and expand and connect to the infinite love of mother earth. We're just trying to fucking live. So they come in in that state, it's a survival mode. And part of the way that we create change because we can measure it. So this is what I really want you to tap into measuring the change that you're making. And it's really simple things like, okay, well, I can measure by, if I really am 100 pounds overweight, I can measure because I know that if I didn't work out and I didn't try, then I can measure that. So one of the ways that we measure the change that we're making in this world now is we share kindness and we measure it and share it not because we do it so other people go, you're so amazing, it's because we hold each other accountable, we inspire each other. 
and I just got goosebumps. It's been so beautiful. So this past week, we um, we have our days, and we and we get so excited about it. And it's so inspiring. You 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 need a little pick me up. You come to the thread, and you just see the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments of kindness. And there's just so many that stick out all the time. But there's the most beautiful basic ones. Whereas uh, there was a homeless person who was so drunk and falling over, and nobody wanted to touch him or help him. And I touched him and helped him and, and picked up his stuff and, and that felt really good to connect on a human level. And I had, you know, I just read one. She was like, um, I was shopping in the store and a man came up to me and I could tell he was on drugs and he asked for money. And so I said, I'll happily buy you food. And she said he walked around the store and was so, he passed by these flowers and he hadn't seen flowers in so long. And he said, they're so beautiful. And she said she was just blown away by his gratitude for the flowers have goosebumps again and how kind he was and polite and they connected on a human level and she bought him something. And so there's these basic human connections and then um, another, a mom, I'm a single mom. I haven't ever donated before because I've been in such scarcity and I've always felt like there wasn't enough. And so this week I donated to Black Lives Matter. And these women who have never donated in their lives because it's been me, 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 survival mode, mine, mine, mine. And then going, why is nothing changing? Come in and get these strategies to learn how to get out of their head and how to get into their heart. And then we can see a bigger picture that I'm not separate from everyone and everything and it's not me against the world. I am one with everyone and everything and I can be part of the change right now. So like get that out of your head that I'm just one person. And as far as taking too much energy, let's just totally simplify. And it's like, well, you know what it feels like to treat someone the way that you want to be treated. You know, you know what it feels like to look at someone and not judge them and find out where you guys have similarities and how you can connect. You know how to be kind, soul to soul, heart to heart on a human level. You know how to treat people the way you know how you want to be treated and you know how to do that. So if, you, if we can just simplify to that very basic, boil it down. And I know that the world is, has a lot of evilness and there's a lot of fucking problems and we have to end racism. We have to actively be part of an anti, anti-racist. How are we being part of the solution? How are we making these changes so this doesn't happen again? Yes, sure. And on a basic level, if you do think that you're separate from everyone and everything and you don't treat people the way that you want to be treated and you come in with all these judgments, it's impossible. So just focus on that. You have one job. You just do this one way. I'm going to connect in my heart at a soul level and I'm going to do these really beautiful kind things. And that's just such a game changer because it cracks our heart open and goes, oh my God, it's not just about me. I'm making these positive changes. I can't even tell you the ripple effect that this has had. The most kind things you can ever imagine, the most beautiful selfless acts from women that you can ever imagine are happening every day, all the time in my purpose program. And then we take it to the love program and because they have more energy and more money, they're doing it on a bigger level and making an impact. One of my clients just donated 10% of all of the money in her savings account to Black Lives Matter. Another one of my clients who will be 55 in a few days paid off all of her debts and has been donating to so many different charities. Black Lives Matter is one of them, ha has been donating and finding these new charities that really touch her, her soul and going, oh my God, I can be, I can change this world. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And like she just posted, I've just donated to this charity that I haven't donated to before. And it feels so amazing. And my, my clients in the love program are going, it's not about me. I'm totally scared. Like, because this is, this is shit that I've never dealt with before and I'm doing it from my heart and I know how to be kind on a human level and I know that I can't help anybody if I'm disempowered. So they've made more money this past month. I had one of my client, her and her partner made 20 grand this month and she donated to heaps of charities and she had the greatest clients results that she's done and taken part in peaceful protests. I had another one of my beautiful clients, her and her partner made 19,000 and sharing f more f energy and, and this free sense, like the way that I share with you, because she hasn't, because she actually wants to be kind and donating and buying her mom who needs stuff, these beautiful things. And another one of my clients, um, just her, uh, her on her own made 8,000 and volunteers with foster children who have come from abusive homes 
And six months ago, when she came into the love program, she wasn't even making 2000 a month and she couldn't be around kids. She was sexually abused as a child and she had this trauma that she hadn't you know, dealt with in her body. And she felt like she just couldn't even be around kids. Like she just, she, she had, it just reminded her, especially abused kids, because it just reminded her of the, her own pain that she's done. So six months in, and this isn't the most that she's made. She's made like, you know, 12 or 15 grand before in a month, but she's made 8,000 in May and is doing yoga and meditation with children who have been beat and abused or in, and, and are in foster care. And she's like, because I wasn't giving it to myself before, so I couldn't share with others. And then another one of my clients, I think just her on her own made 6,000, so even more with her partner. Do, she's donated bikes to refugees and so they can help get to work. And then she's put on automatic debit. So every month this comes out of her bank account to helping women in domestic violence situations. So as COVID is, the restrictions are releasing, a lot of women are leaving abusive relationships. And they don't have anywhere to go. And so this is how we measure making a change. So if I say, how are you going to make a change? And you go, I'm going to be nicer. Yeah, I'm not, or I'm not racist. It's cool. Like, that's not, we, it's impossible. That's like saying, how are you going to lose hundred pounds? Yeah, I'm going to sit here. Yeah, do the same thing. It doesn't work. Does it take a little bit more energy? Yeah. Is it kind of gnarly sometimes and hard and are you going to get sore? Yeah. And it's fucking worth it because I believe in you and you're strong enough and you can because it's not any easier for anybody else. You totally can. You completely can and you can measure it. So the last question I'm going to ask you is, Let's write in the comments, I want to measure. How have you been able to measure the positive changes that you've been making? How have you been able to measure being part of the solution and your kindness and on a human level, healing the system that is broken? Because while there are humans suffering badly and the earth is sick, the system is broken. It's not, oh, 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 I'm not directly affected. Ugh. The system is broken, so we actually have to take action. If we don't do something and make changes, nothing will change. So measure that, and if you haven't done anything, if you just popped in and you're like, oh, I just found you, Lonnie, and I haven't been doing anything, I've been sitting back and I've been like paralyzed by fear and frozen, then let's start now with all of those examples that I just gave you. If you don't have the money to donate, you donate your time and your compassion as a human being. If you have money, then you donate. And we can measure this. I believe in you. So I'm excited to hear that in the comments. If you are ready to go deeper and hear more and hear exactly how I have done this for myself and how I teach my clients, you have to come to my free online workshop. All the details are in the description. So head there now. Please hit the subscribe so you're notified every Tuesday and Thursday when I share my energy with you because I have an abundance and I love it. And I know that whatever I put out comes back in. And I want to help a million women by the end of this year and hit the like button and the bell icon. And thanks so much for listening. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.